So in this lab session, uh, we are going to create uh, a Vagrant machine uh, on uh, on Linux server, my base machine where Vagrant will be installed. That's a Linux machine. And uh, details are it got uh, CentOS 7.3 installed, which is 64 bit. We all know 7 is by default 64 bit. Host platform, I'm using VMware Workstation 12. I got uh, hardware virtualization extensions enabled. And on network side, I got two interfaces configured. First is for host only connectivity. And second interface, which I got, uh, that is for bridge connectivity, basically bridge network to communicate with internet or out to world. As a provider, I am. I hope you understand the term provider now because I just discussed as a provider I'm using VirtualBox. So VirtualBox is my provider. Vagrant version, I'm going to use version 1.9.3 which is the latest one as on date at the time of recording. So first thing, as a prerequisite, it's recommended that you update your system with all the latest patches. So simply run yum update minus y, minus y is for yes. Then install GCC, make, and kernel development. Uh, GCC, make, kernel development, uh, they are prerequisites for VirtualBox. So if you're using VMware, then uh, you have to look what are the prerequisite packages. If you're using uh, some other provider, accordingly, you have to see what are the prerequisite. In my case, for VirtualBox, data, these packages are the prerequisites. Uh, next thing, not mandatory, but let's install X Windows also in case uh, your VM while startup or it got some issue. So if you got uh, X Windows system installed and configured on your machine, you can easily look into the logs or you can see the console, what happened, where my VM got stuck or some other issue. So you can install X Windows. Again, uh, this is not mandatory. Let's say you have created a base image which you are sure uh, it automatically starts up and uh, no issues at all. Then you can get rid of X Windows. You can remove the packages at the end. After that, uh, reboot your system. So these are the prerequisites. So let me quickly run through these particular prerequisites on my machine first before I go to next slide. So guys, uh, this is the machine uh, which is sent to S7. So if you're using Red Hat, the process which I'm going to demonstrate that is going to be 100% same, no changes at all. So first of all, uh, let's update the system. I've already updated, but uh, I just want to show you. So you can see on my screen, it is saying no package mark for update. It means my system is already updated. Uh, let me show you how you can install dependency packages. Again, in this case, they are already present. I have installed it uh, before starting the session to save the time. You can see on my screen, it is saying packages are already installed and they are on uh, latest uh, version. X window system is already there because I'm running it on uh, graphical way, the terminal. So in this case, I'm not going to reboot uh, because my system is already updated. If any changes in your case, some package got installed. So prefer we like just reboot your system. So we are good till this point. Our prerequisites are good. Basically, we met our prerequisites. So next thing is installation of Vagrant and VirtualBox. For that, uh, you can go to VirtualBox and Vagrant website and uh, download the latest available software versions. For Vagrant, this is the link for VirtualBox. This is the link. Simply do type in Google VirtualBox download, Vagrant download. It will take to these download pages. And once your packages are downloaded, you can transfer those to your system, which is going to act as base machine. On that machine, because uh, that CentOS machine, I'm going to run yum local install in case uh, your machine is uh, some different platform, depending upon your package manager, run the installation command. So this is something uh, in my case, you have local install VirtualBox and Vagrant. Then uh, I have to run uh, Aspen Vbox config. Basically this command uh, install configure 
and uh, load the VirtualBox modules and uh, at the end it starts the VirtualBox services. After that you can validate the installation using uh, VBox Manage dash dash version and Vagrant dash dash version. So if this command works it gives surety the software is installed and uh, you can check the versions. VBox Manage is a CLA provided by VirtualBox package. So that's something which I was mentioning. You don't need to know or remember the syntax of VBox or VirtualBox commands. Vagrant is going to take care. And uh, in a couple of minutes, you will be very happy to see how Vagrant works. So friends, uh, these are the download pages for the VirtualBox. I'm running CentOS 7. So for CentOS 7, this is the package. If I click here, download will start. You can see it started. 75 MB is the software size. And for Vagrant, it got Windows, Debian, or CentOS support. So I'm on CentOS 64 bit. I click here and it automatically start download the package. I've already downloaded these packages. So uh, I'm just uh, skipping or canceling this download to save my network my internet uh, download limits so that's good i have already downloaded the packages and transferred these to the system which is going to be our base background system okay so let's uh, do installation of the virtual box first for that i'm running yum local install one thing may be in your mind why i'm using yum why i'm not installing the package using rpm right so So reason with yum local install let's say this virtual box package got some dependency and packages are not locally available it will automatically contact the remote repositories and download the dependency packages so that makes the things easy that's the reason i'm using yum local install instead of rpm so this package may take a couple of seconds for the installation okay so installation is good it installed the Vagrant uh, virtual, sorry, virtual box. Now let's install Vagrant again. Yum local install. So this is very small package. It will install uh, very quickly. Okay, so Vagrant installation is also done. Uh, let's start the VBox or uh, VirtualBox services for that. As you mentioned, we have to run VBox config. This command automatically start the service as well as load the modules uh, which are required to start the service. You can see on my screen. Okay, so services are started. Let's quickly verify the exit code. It's zero, it's good. So let's run VBox manage. Dash dash version to see what is the version. It got 5.1 and let's run backend version. It got 1.9.3. So our installation seems good.